my method of uh, making a uh, three brake shell or any kind of a modal brake shell differs uh, slightly from most of the ones that I've seen. Uh, most of the time, if you've seen a multiple brake shell, most of the time they, you get a real nice big brake, the first one, the second one, the third one, fourth one, whatever. Succeeding brakes all tend to shoot out the end. Uh, they, get, they deteriorate as they go down. Well, the way I do mine, I make them all as a, uh, like a single brake shell. I string it, paste it just like a regular shell, then I join them all together with the plug. Now, uh, this gives integrity to the shell, makes it uh, uh, a much harder break, and all the brakes look the same. Pull it tight, work all the air bubbles out of it, and just roll it up. There we got one and a half turns on there. Or actually about one and a third. Two thirds, maybe. Now normally we'll be setting this aside a day to dry, so that you uh, won't get paste and everything all over you, which is what's going to happen now. <laughs> and they can tend to be a little slippery now. When I do mine, some other people I've seen, they take one of these pieces of match, and they'll put it along the side like that. Well, I take two. Doesn't hurt. Like I said, it's very cheap insurance. And you got to check your dexterity because sometimes it's hard to hold it up there while you're trying to tie the knot. And I take a few turns around there to make sure everything's nice and tight and I tie it off again. Okay, and who wants to carry this around? <laughs> and there it is, a finished three brake shell. Two brakes of color to report. Thank you. Thank you.